Hello friends. Welcome back to Knowledge Hub channel. Let's learn together. In today's video we are discussing 150 interview questions and answers for civil engineers. This is for site engineers, quality control engineers, planning and billing engineers. Interview questions and answers for civil engineer 1. What is the purpose of the slump test? 2. Determine the consistency of the workability of the concrete mix and to check for the required slumps. 2. What are allowable slumps? 2.5 cm to 7.5 cm, for vibrated structure and without admixture. And if with admixture and plasticizer, slump depends upon the design mix. Slump shall be checked as per design mix. A slump between 75 mm and 125 mm is normal for normal pores. 3. What is a plasticizer? Usually applied at a low water cement ratio concrete to make it workable. 4. Min. And maximum temperature of concrete at the site prior to pouring. Min concrete temp is 10 degrees and max is 32 degrees c5 what is the purpose of curing curing plays an important role on strength development and durability of concrete properly cured concrete has an adequate amount of moisture for continued hydration and development of strength volume stability 6 what are the methods of curing there are various methods of curing the adoption of a particular method will depend upon the nature of work and the climatic conditions. The following methods of curing of concrete shading concrete work, covering concrete surfaces with hessian or gunny bags, sprinkling of water, ponding method, membrane curing, steam curing. 7. When will you apply the curing of the concrete? After the concrete has initially set, 35 to 40 minutes is the initial setting time of concrete. 8. For how many days are you going to cure a structure? 7 days. In some cases like PPC types of cement, 14 days of curing are recommended. 9. What is hydration? It is the formation of a compound by the combination of water and other substances or in concrete. It is the chemical reaction between water and cement. 10. Can you explain the difference between one-way and two-way slabs? One-way slabs are supported on two opposite sides, and the load is carried in one direction, perpendicular to the supporting beams. Two-way slabs are supported on all four sides and distribute the load in both directions, creating a grid-like system of support. 11. What is the significance of soil testing in construction? Soil testing is crucial in construction because it helps determine the soil's characteristics, such as bearing capacity, compaction properties, and shear strength. This information guides foundation design, ensuring structures are built on a stable and safe soil base. 12. How do you ensure the quality of concrete on site? To ensure concrete quality, proper mix design should be followed, with accurate proportions of cement, aggregates, and water. Regular testing and monitoring of the curing process, temperature, and Moisture levels are essential to prevent cracks, achieve desired strength, and enhance durability. 13. Explain the concept of a retaining wall. A retaining wall is a structure used to retain soil at different levels on opposite sides. It prevents soil erosion, provides stability to changes in elevation, and supports vertical or near vertical grade changes. Retaining walls can be constructed using various materials, such as concrete, timber, or reinforced earth. 14. What are 
The key differences between shallow and deep foundations. Shallow foundations are used when the load-bearing capacity of the upper soil layers is sufficient to support the structure. Examples include spread footings and mat foundations. Deep foundations are employed when the upper soil layers are not strong enough. They extend deep into the soil to transfer the load to more stable layers. Examples include piles and drilled shafts. 15. How do you handle unexpected challenges or changes in a construction project? Adapting to unforeseen challenges is part of the job. It's important to have a contingency plan in place, maintain open communication with the team, and be flexible in adjusting project schedules and resources. Problem solving skills and the ability to think on your feet are vital in managing unexpected situations. 16. Can you explain the concept of green building? Green building, also known as sustainable or eco-friendly construction, focuses on minimizing a structure's environmental impact. This involves using energy-efficient materials, optimizing water usage, promoting indoor air quality, and incorporating renewable energy sources. Green buildings aim to reduce their carbon footprint and contribute to a more sustainable future. 17. What safety measures are crucial on a construction site? Safety is paramount on construction sites. Proper personal protective equipment, PPE, should be worn at all times. Scaffolding and work platforms must be secure. Regular safety meetings, training sessions, and the implementation of safety protocols can help prevent accidents and ensure the well-being of all workers. 18. Can you explain the difference between reinforced concrete and pre-stressed concrete? Reinforced concrete is a composite material where steel bars, rebars, are embedded within the concrete to provide added tensile strength. Pre-stressed concrete, on the other hand, involves pre-tensioning or post-tensioning the reinforcement to counteract the tensile stresses that concrete may experience. This results in a stronger and more durable material, often used in structures with high load requirements, like bridges and parking structures. 19. What is the significance of soil compaction in construction? Soil compaction is crucial in construction because it increases the density of the soil, reducing its voids and improving its load-bearing capacity. Properly compacted soil ensures a stable foundation for structures, minimizes settlement, and prevents damage to buildings over time. 20. Can you discuss the importance of surveying in civil engineering projects? Surveying is essential for civil engineering projects as it provides accurate measurements of land and existing structures. This data is used to create detailed plans and designs, ensuring that construction is precise and aligns with property boundaries. Surveying also helps in determining elevations, contours, and drainage patterns, critical for proper infrastructure planning. 21. What are some common challenges you might face when working on a construction site, and how do you overcome them? Construction sites often present challenges like adverse weather conditions, unforeseen site conditions, and tight deadlines. To overcome these challenges, civil engineers must implement proper contingency plans, closely monitor weather forecasts, conduct thorough site assessments, and maintain effective communication with the project team to adapt to changing circumstances and ensure project success. 22. Could you explain the concept of a retaining wall and its types? A retaining wall is a structure designed to hold back soil or other materials and prevent erosion or sliding. 
There are various types of retaining walls, including gravity walls, cantilever walls, counterfeit walls, and anchored walls. The choice of retaining wall type depends on factors such as the height of the wall, soil conditions, and available space. 23. How do you ensure environmental sustainability in your civil engineering projects? Environmental sustainability is important in civil engineering to minimize the impact on ecosystems and natural resources. Engineers can achieve this by incorporating green design principles, using eco-friendly materials, optimizing energy efficiency, and implementing proper waste management practices. Additionally, considering renewable energy sources and reducing carbon emissions are essential steps towards sustainable construction. 24. What role does quality control play in construction, and how do you ensure it? Quality control ensures that construction materials and methods meet the required standards and specifications. Civil engineers can implement quality control by conducting regular inspections, performing material testing, adhering to approved design plans, and addressing any discrepancies promptly. This helps in delivering safe and durable structures that meet client expectations. 25. Concrete can be dropped freely at a height of 1.5 meter. 26. Max and min slope of chutes used in pouring concrete. Max slope is 1 to 2, vertical to horizontal, min slope is 1 to 327. Advantages of reducing the water cement ratio of concrete mix. Increased strength. Increase water tightness, lower absorption, increased resistance to weathering, a better bond between concrete and reinforcement. 28. What are the two basic types of concrete? Structural and non-structural concrete. 29. How would you compare 7 days and 28 days compressive strength of concrete? 70 to 75% of that of 28 days strength. 30. What is a composite structure? It is a structure composed of two materials as in steel and concrete. 31. What is a non-composite structure? It is a structure made of either concrete or steel. 32. What are the reasons behind the cracks? Poor curing practice, poor design, poor vibration which results in segregation, less rebar covering, poor quality of concrete, movement of false work or forms, higher water cement ratio. Severe atmospheric attack which shows the effect on the heat of hydration with water initially. 33. What are the concrete samples? The cylinder and the cubes for the compressive strength test. 34. Within how many hours should concrete mix be discharged after leaving the batching plant or after all the aggregates, cement, and water are in the mixer? Dash. Within one hour if the mixer is an agitated mixer, also depends on the design mix, and within 30 minutes if the mixer is a non-agitated mixer. 35. What is the initial setting time of concrete mix? 35 to 40 minutes. 36. How many layers are in the concrete cube? Concrete cube is cast in three layers. 37. How many strokes are done in one layer in a concrete cube? 35 strokes in one layer. 38. What is the size of road used in concrete cube casting and slump test? Dia 16 mm and 600 mm length. 39. What is the size of a concrete cube? 150 mm by 150 mm by 150 mm. 40. What is the size of slump cones? Height 30 cm, 
top of cone 10 cm, and bottom of cone 20 cm. 41. How many layers are in the slump test? 3 layers in ASTM and BS but 4 layers in Indian standards. 42. How many strokes are done in one layer in a slump test? 25 strokes 43. What are the essential elements of concrete placement? The maximum height of the concrete drop is less than or equal to 1.5 meters. B. Segregation must be prevented by ensuring transit mixture is approved, has operating revolution counter, no adding water after batching, and concrete is placed in such a manner to prevent segregation. Only shovels can be used to move concrete around inside the forms no raking allowed. Vibrators should not be used for that purpose. C. Proper vibration must be implemented. Proper vibrating. Dropping the vibrator under its own weight until it gets to the desired drop height. Then leaving it there for 3 to 7 seconds then pulling at the count of 3 to 4 seconds. When vibrating subsequent layers, the vibrator must penetrate a centimeter into the older layer. D. Some laborers must be continuously watching the forms in case a wall is being poured. Proper height of each concrete lift must be observed, such as the usual 600 mm stated normally in project specifications. Also, tamping on the wall is necessary to assist in the consolidation process. E. The concrete temperature and the slumps are two strong indicators of the inspector's knowledge. A. Slump between 75 mm and 125 mm is normal for normal pores. The maximum allowed temperature for concrete when arriving at the project site is 32. 44. How do you measure the volume of concrete? The volume of concrete is calculated by multiplying its length, width, and thickness together. For example 1 meter times 1 meter times 1 meter equals 1 cubic meter of volume of concrete. 45. Why concrete cover is provided for reinforcement? Concrete cover for reinforcement is required to protect the rebar against corrosion and to provide resistance against fire. 46. How to do check level on construction? Site. I will check the level on the construction site by spirit level, dumpy level, and leveling. Pipe. 47. What is the accuracy of the dumpy level or minimum reading we can take? With the help of a dumpy level, we can take up a 5 mm accurate reading or minimum reading. 48. How do you calculate the weight of 12 m long and 10 mm diameter? Steel on site. It's simple. By multiplying the length of the steel bar with its unit weight. Unit WT of 10 mm equals 0.60 kg per meter. Weight of steel equals 0. 60 by 12 equals 7.2 kg. 49. Which is the equation used for calculating the unit weight of the steel bar? D squared, 162, is an equation used for calculating the unit weight of the steel bar. 50. What is the size of a concrete cube? The standard size of a concrete cube is 15 cm by 15 cm by 15 cm. 51. What do you do if any concrete cube fails in 28 days compressive strength test? If the concrete cube fails in the strength test, I will conduct a core cutter test on concrete and send a report to higher authorities. 52. What is the mix ratio for M20 grade of concrete? For M20, the mix ratio is 1. 1. 5 to 3. 53. What is the unit weight of 12 mm steel bars? 0.89 kilograms per meter. 54. 
What is the density of steel? 7,850 kg per cubic meter. 55. In Fe 415 steel grade, 415 indicates the of steel. Tensile strength 56. What is the volume of a 50 kg bag of cement? 0.035 cubic meters. 57. In residential building, average value of stair width. 900 mm. 58. The slope of stair should not exceed. 40. 59. Minimum diameter of steel. In column. 12 mm. 60. Standard size of brick. 19 cm by 9 cm by 9 cm. 61. What is unit weight of? RCC. 2500 kg m cubed 62 one acre equals blank underscore square featuring 43560 square featuring 63 what is the full form of utm universal testing machine 64 cement expire after three months 65 one square meter equals blank square featuring 10.76 square. Featuring 66. What is unit weight of 25 mm steel bars? 3.85 kg per meter. 67. 1 hectare equals. Blank. Underscore acres 2.47 acres 68. 1 gallon equals. Blank. Underscore liters 3.78 liters 69. 1 kilo newton is equal to blank kilograms 101.97 kg 70 1 ton is equal to blank kilograms 1000 kg 71 instrument used for level work on a construction site dumpy level auto level 72 minimum bars in circular column should be underscore blank 6 numbers 73 what is the full form of aac autoclaved aerated concrete 74 what is the full form of ndt non destructive test 74 what is the full form of jcb joseph cyril bam ford 76 which test is conducted to determine the bearing capacity of soil plate load Test 77. Ring and ball test are conducted on which construction material? Bitumen 78. Minimum hook. Length as per is code. ANS. 75 mm. 79. What is the extra length in bent up bars? 0.45. 80. What is the least count of dumpy? 5 mm. 81. What is full of EGL? Existing ground level. 82. A first class. Brick should absorb water more than. 20%. 83. Number of bricks used in one cubic meter of. Brickwork. 500 numbers 84. The normal consistency of Portland cement. 25%. 85. The expansion in. Portland cement is tested by. Soundness test 86. According to his code, full strength of concrete is achieved after 28 days 87. What is the volume of one bag of cement? 0.035 cubic meters. 88. Minimum grade of concrete used for RCC. M20. 89. Cement expire after 3 months. 90. What is the full form of DPR? Detailed Project Report 91. What is the initial and final setting time for cement? Initial. Less than 30 minutes and 600 minutes. 92. What are the responsibilities of a construction manager in the project? Responsibilities of a construction manager in the project. Supervising the construction. Site. Estimate the proper cost of the project. 
Purchasing the materials required for construction. Before work begins. Purchasing the materials required for construction before work begins. Analyzing the proposals. Construction scheduling and monitoring 93. What can be the potential risk factors for workers on the construction site? Following are the risk factors for workers for not following the safety protocols. Risk to fall from height. Failure scaffold and trench. Change of electric shock and arc blast. Motion injuries. 94. What you know about hybrid. Foundation. Hybrid foundation is used to reduce the amount of settlement in high-rise building. Which contains both soils supported mat and piles. 95. Alternate bid is underscore. Blank. An alternate bid is. A proportion stated in the bid to be subtracted or summed from the base bid amount. Alternate. Materials or methods of construction force alternate bids are to be proposed. 96. Explain the order. Of change request. Change order request is a written document given by the owner, requesting an. Adjustment to the contract sum or an extension of the contract time. It can be issued by the architect or owner's representative. 97. What are the components covered within construction? Cost. Materials required. Labor expense. Equipment and services. Contractors overhead. And. Profit are covered under the estimated construction cost while compensation or salary paid to the architect, consultant, or engineers, cost of the land, and other costs that is owner's responsibility is not covered in it. 98. What does the critical path method, CPM, mean? It, CPM is a strategy along with the method of representing the respective tasks and activities to be involved in the construction with respect to a symbolic diagram. 99. Explain the term is demying. Wall. Demying wall act as a boundary that separates your land or house from neighbor's house or property. The significance of the labor and material payment bond is if the contractor fails to Pay for all labor, materials, equipments or services in accordance with the contract, he or she will guarantee payment to the owner under this bond. Hence it is a bond between the owner and the main contractor. 100. Explain what is progress payment. A progress payment is a payment done by the owner to the contractor in parts after the completion of a certain amount of construction. Technically it is a difference between the completed work and material stored and a predetermined schedule of values or unit costs. 101. What is a structural frame or systems? Beams and columns. Form load-bearing assembly on a foundation called structural frames. However, the columns and beams are mostly fabricated off-site and can be assembled on-site. 102. What are software programs that can be used by architects? The list of software programs is as follows. AutoCAD. 3DS Max. Sketch. Up. Photoshop. Adobe Creative Suites. Microsoft Office. Digital Media. The use is based on the type of architectural project. 103. Explain what are the skills required for a good architect. Conceptual. Understanding related to designing models. Basic knowledge of computer and architectural software. Programs. Various engineering abilities. General and business aptitude. Knowledge about 3D model. Designs 104. What things architects have to take care of before starting any project. The owner has to have proper planning permission for the building to be constructed. Whether the certain listed grade is approved or not. Basic knowledge is required of building appliances and materials that are costly. Environment care should be taken while construction. 
105. What a different dimension tools. In CAD, for accessing CAD dimension tools, one must go to CAD and GT dimensions. The wide range of dimension tools is listed below. Manual dimensions. Interior dimensions. Point to point. Dimensions. Display temporary dimensions moving objects using dimensions. Auto exterior. Dimensions. Auto interior dimensions. End to end dimensions. 106. The density of steel used in construction. 7850 kilograms per cubic meter. 107. List out the problems one might be facing while having a cantilever balcony. Cantilever balconies are unsupported and extend in an outward direction, so the problems with cantilever balconies are as such. Excess amount of deflection or bounce. Weakness of the deck structure is liable. Water damage to the interior of the house along with rotting is caused. Unevenness within the house interior. Balcony for gardening or other purposes is not safe as it is not designed to lift excess amount of weight and may result in earlier failure. 108. For what type of building built-in balconies are suitable and what are their pros? An older building serves the requirement of built on balconies. This balcony is well supported in front of the facade on four columns and a back to the wall with brackets. The advantages of built on balconies areas listed below. Dismantling of old ones is possible and the new ones can be erected immediately in front of the face. The work can take place outside of the house, so there is no interference to the interior of the building. 109. Distinguish between built area and super built up area. Difference between built up area and super built up area. The built up area includes carpet area plus area covered by the walls, pillars as well as ducts. It is having 10% more area than that carpet area. On another hand, super built up area includes your built up area plus the area that you use as building amenities like the passage of lift, stairs, and lifts, gym, club, etc. 110. What do you understand by M25 concrete? According to the standards is code 456 to 2000, M represents mix, and 25 is the characteristic compressive strength of concrete. 111. Maximum temperature that is allowable for fresh concrete used according to the ASTM. 32 degrees Celsius is the maximum temperature. 112. Explain the terms bending moment, BM, and shear force, SF. A bending moment is a reaction that tends to bend the element when an external force or moment is applied to it in a sudden or gradual manner. The most common or simplest example is the beam. The shear force acts perpendicular to its longitudinal x axis. For design purposes, the beam's ability to resist shear force is a major objective than its ability to resist an axial force. The axial force acts parallel to the longitudinal axis. 113. What is the type of bitumen used as for filling cracks in masonry structures? Plastic bitumen is the best suited bitumen used as for filling cracks in masonry structures. 114. What is the process called for covering the concrete placed on the exposed top of an external wall? Coping 115. Is the wall constructed to resist the pressure of an earth filling? The retaining wall. 116. What is the duration of the minimum curing period? As per as 456, 2000 recommendations. The curing period of concrete must be at least 7 days in case of OPC, ordinary Portland cement. 
and at least 10 days for the concrete with added mineral admixtures. It is also mandatory for OPC exposed to dry and hot weather conditions to have at least a 10-day curing period. 117. What is the bearing capacity of soil? The bearing capacity of soil is the ability of soil to withstand the load imposed by the foundation. 118. What do you mean by honeycomb in concrete? Air pocket is another name for honeycomb in concrete which is usually formed during concrete casting. 119. What field tests are necessary for the quality check of cement? Following are the tests cement should undergo. On field. On looking, cement should have a gray color with a light greenish shade. It should feel smooth when rubbed between fingers. If the hand is inserted in heap cement or its bags, it should feel cool. When a pinch of cement is thrown in water then cement should float for some time before it sinks. Cement should be lump-free when checked by putting the hand in the mixture. 120. What are the types of cement? Various types of cement which are used for quality construction are listed below. Portland Pozzolana cement, PPC, low heat Portland cement, colored Portland cement, hydrophobic cement, ordinary Portland cement, OPC, white Portland cement, WPC, rapid hardening cement, Portland slag cement, sulfate resisting Portland cement, white Portland cement, WPC, etc. 121. What do you mean by water cement ratio and how it is related to the strength of concrete? The water cement ratio. Ratio of weight of water to the weight of cement used in a concrete mix. A lower constant ensure higher strength and durability but is difficult to mix i.e. low workability of concrete mix. Admixtures are added to deal with workability. 122. List the steps involved in the concreting process. Steps in concreting are as given below. Batching of concrete. Mixing. Transportation of concrete. Compaction of concrete. Curing 123. What are the major difficulties faced during pumping concrete works? Difficulties are discussed below. The force needs to overcome the friction between concrete and the pumping pipes along with the weight of concrete and the pressure head. Segregation and bleeding are the major problems associated with pumping. Aggregate selection is important in this process to reduce errors in work. 124. Reason for concrete being weak in tension. Concrete is a combination of materials like several aggregate types, cement, pozzolana, water, air, etc. which stick together with a cement paste are the zone, called the interface zone, is the weakest link in the structure. During compression, that interface is the only to transfer compressive stresses from aggregate to aggregate, which does not require exceptional strength. While the scenario under tension is not the same, the aggregates in tension are trying to pull away from each other and the bond is what holds it tightly. Since it is significantly weaker than the aggregates, it is what results in failure. 125. Explain. Grouting. Grout is a fluid form of concrete that is used to fill the voids and this method is nothing but grouting. 126. What is the recommended slump for the column? 75 to 125 mm. 127. What is the range for the bearing capacity of granite? Around in between 30 to 35 kg per square centimeter. 128. What are the recommended standards of tamping rod used in cube filling for cube test? 
According to the IS code, 2386, a 16 mm steel rod with rounded edge is recommended specifications. 129. Explain what are the functions of columns in a building. Support structural load and transfer it through beams to the foundation. 130. Explain what is QA and QC. Quality assurance. QA. Set of activities to make sure. Quality in the processes by which works are done is termed as quality assurance. QA. It is the process of managing for quality. Quality control. QC. Quality control can be defined as a set of activities that ensure quality in work. This activity focus on identifying defects in the actual products produced. 131. List down the ratio of grades M5, M7.5, M10, M15, M20, M25, M30, M35, M40. The grades are having the following ratios. M5 1 to 5, 10. M7.5 to 1, 4 to 8. M10 1 to 3, 6. M15. 1, 2 to 4. M21 to 1, 5 to 3. M25 1 to 1, 2. M30. M35. M40 design mix followed 132. What made you decide to become a civil engineer? My passion and interest in learning building works have encouraged me to become a civil engineering. I love working as a civil engineer and learn at every stage of my work. 133. What is the purpose of the gap in the road on the bridge? The purpose of the gap in the road is to allow road expansion and contraction caused due to temperature changes, without damaging or deformation the road. 134. What are the tests used for checking brick quality? Absorption test. Hardness test. Shape and size test. Crushing strength test. Soundness test, etc. are performed to determine the brick quality. For example, in the water absorption test, brick is dipped in fresh water for 16 hours in water. And depending on the weight of brick its class is decided such as if the weight of brick after dipping in water doesn't exceed 20% it can be considered as a first class brick if below 22.5% it can be considered as second class brick, and so on. 135. Explain what is the void ratio. Void ratio is the ratio of the volume of voids to volume of solids. 136. Stock rails are fitted against blank tongue clearance 137. The angle subtended between the gauge faces of the stock rail and check is blank. The switching angle 138. Explain the critical path method, CPM. Critical path method is a strategy and method which uses the symbolic diagram to represent the respective tasks and activities involved in the construction. 139. How can specific gravity of cement be determined? The composition of cement is itself in powder form. Hence, it is not easy to measure its specific gravity. Ultimately knowing its specific gravity is not particularly useful. Finding a conclusion to a solution is that the more useful question is, what is the typical density of concrete? And according to the rule of thumb, its answer is that the normally cured concrete has a density of about 150 pounds per cubic foot. 140. How will you measure the volume of concrete? It is a simple task of multiplying its length, width, and thickness together. For example, 2 meters by 2 meters times 2 meters equals 8 cubic meters of the volume of concrete. 
141. Why concrete cover is provided to reinforcement. The function of the cover is to protect the reinforcement bars against corrosion and to provide ultimately provide resistance against fire. 142. How to do check. Level on construction site. Spirit level, dumpy level, and leveling pipes are used to check levels on construction sites. 143. What is the accuracy of the least count we can take of the dumpy level? 5 mm is the least count for dumpy level. It is the accuracy that can be provided by dumpy level. 144. How will you calculate the weight of 12 m long and 10 mm diameter steel bar on site? Here, we can multiply the length of the steel bar by its unit weight. Unit WT of 10 mm equals 0.60 kg per meter. Therefore, weight of steel equals 0.60 times 12 equals 7.2 kg. 145. Which is the equation used for calculating the unit weight of the steel bar? D squared, 162, is the general equation used to calculate unit weight of steel bar. 146. What is the procedure to be followed if any concrete cube fails in 28 days compressive strength test? After the failure of the concrete cube in compression strength test, conduct a core cutter test on concrete, and a report is sent to higher authorities. 147. Underscore 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 is the mix ratio for M20 grade of concrete. 1 to 1. 5 to 3. 148. State the unit weight of 12 mm. Steel bars. 0.89 kg per meter. 149. Define floating slab foundation. A floating concrete foundation is a type of mat foundation that consists of the hollow mat formed by a grid of thick reinforced concrete walls between two thick reinforced concrete slabs is called as a floating concrete foundation. 150. What do you mean by honeycomb in concrete? Honeycomb, also known as air pocket, is nothing but the air voids in concrete. It is usually formed during concrete casting. So, friends, these are some important civil engineering interview questions and answers. That's all for today. Please give your feedback in the comments, like and share the video in your groups. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for interesting videos. Thank you.